this is Dr. Andrew Yun over at St. John's Hospital, and we wanted to go over how we make the diagnosis of knee arthritis. And so in the office, we do three important things. One, it's by history, and two, it's by physical exam looking at anatomy, and three, it's by looking internally at the structure using x-rays. X-rays are by far the most important imaging modality because it gives us a very clear, crisp picture of what's happening inside the knee joint. So uh, let's take a look. I'll show you what we're looking for as orthopedic surgeons. So a typical knee looks like this. This is a bad knee. Typical knee looks like this. The bones are nice and straight. They're balanced. There is a wide open space. There is cartilage between the bones. Now the key is this space between the bones. That is the cartilage. That is the physiologic cushion that's made of collagen that is creating the separation. It is absorbing the impact and protecting these two bones from grinding. Now what happens over age, that cushion is soft and is an essential part of the knee, but it's also a weak part. It wears out as we get older. Once that cushion wears out, we have what's called the disease of arthritis. And this is a very typical picture. We see this all day long. So we can see how a knee shifts from having a cushion to having no cushion. A typical arthritic knee looks like this. First thing that we see is there is no cushion between the bones. The cartilage is completely gone. And so you may have the heard the expression bone on bone. Well, we call it bone on bone because it looks bone on bone. When the cushion is gone, the bone below, now instead of supporting the bone above, is now grinding into the bone. The surface has shifted off to the side, and the end of the bone, instead of being round, is now collapsing. This is a knee that hurts. This is a knee that's hard to walk on. This is a knee that's extremely painful and dysfunctional. And so by understanding what's happening internally, by understanding where the deficiency is, we can also understand how we fix that knee. We see that where there was cartilage, now there's a deficiency. And in order to make the knee work again mechanically, we have to replace that deficiency. And that's what we're doing with a knee replacement. And so from this to this to this. And in doing a knee replacement, we put a cap on the bottom excuse me, on the bottom and on the top, and we put a cushion in between. And what we're doing is we're restoring the original mechanics of the knee. So now after the knee is replaced, we still have the knee, we still have the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, the bone, but now the knee is mechanically stable. It's straight, the surface is nice and rounded once again, but most importantly, there is a thick separation between the bones. So when the, those bones are loaded, they are no longer grinding together. Once we fix that mechanical defect, once the bones are no longer rubbing, this knee is going to move and feel much better structurally.